Sunday, the 4th of August. And here's my thought for the day. Very sadly, we have a Prime Minister in this country, Mr Anthony Albanese, that simply cannot be trusted. He cannot be trusted to tell the truth. Just take this uh, tweet he put out back on the 31st of July a few days ago. He said here, more jobs, higher wages and lower taxes. We're working hard to help Australians. <laughs> really? Well, let's just go through each of those one at a time. Firstly, more jobs. Well, you could make that case. But the fact is, we've imported a million people into this country since Mr Albanese has been Prime Minister. Of course, that's a million more people that need food, clothing, transportation. So, of course, that will lead to more jobs. But what really counts is has he been able to lower the number of unemployed people in this country? And when you look at the data, he has absolutely failed. Albanese and Labor have failed. Since Albanese has come to office, there are over 100,000 more Australians on the unemployment lines. The facts are, since Albanese has come Prime Minister, you could fill the MCG with over 100,000 people. That's the number of people that have joined the unemployment queues since Albanese has become Prime Minister. So when it comes to more jobs, Albanese has failed and he is misleading Australians. His second claim about higher wages. Well, what counts when it comes to higher wages is real wages. That's not that your wages have gone up 10% and inflation's gone up 20%. What counts is if your real wages have gone up, that your wage increase after inflation. And what that data shows that since Albanese has been elected, Real wages in this country have fallen. Real wages today in Australia are lower than when Albanese came to office. And if you look as a comparison with the rest of the world, we are one of the worst performing nations anywhere in the world when it comes to real wages falling. And Albanese's third assertion is that he's been lowering taxes. We'll just have a look at this graph from Macro Business. You can see here that at the September quarter of 2023, taxes as a percentage of household income was at the highest level on record at 17.2%. And even after these so-called stage three tax cuts, which are merely giving back what they've stolen from you in bracket creep, taxes are still higher than what they were. So if we go through Albanese's promises, the number of unemployed, people in this country has increased by 100,000. Real wages are lower, have fallen some of the most biggest falls anywhere in the world, and we are paying more taxes. You simply cannot believe a word that Albanese says. To be clear, we did ask to speak, myself and Katie, and we're told that that was impossible, and that's fine. I respect the organisers' right that's to do that. That's a full out lie. To do that. That's a to lie. To do that. That's a full out lie. To the Interrogatory Government. Yeah.